Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been such a long time. I think it's been about two months since I've posted anything now. And this will be my first one since I've been back from Japan. Um, you'll also probably be thinking, why is Momo doing this video again? Because before I did the chocolate unboxing, um, except I did with these two lovely ones here. Um, recently from Japan, I bought her original CD edition as well. So I wanted to compare, and I did mention in the last chocolate video that I would compare once I had all of them together. I also thought that I would talk about my meet and greet with her. Um, I was going to do a separate video on it, but I, I don't think it would be like a very long video. So I thought it's probably easier to just put it in with an unboxing of hers. So yeah. Anyway, I will start with the boring one first. Um, this was a promo version of the album Chocolate. Um, it is not for sale, promotional use only. I got it from a reseller that um, I think collects promo versions. And this was to promote the CD single Chocolate, of course. But it has all of the tracks um, also spelled incorrectly, which I had never even noticed before. Friend zone is spelled wrong. But yeah, this was released in 2017. It is one of my favorite mini albums of hers. I love every single track. Um, they're all so, so good. Um, favorites being Chocolate, Who Are You, Green Light, Last Night, and Friend Zone. Um, I used to really like Light It Up, not as much nowadays, but I I still like it. Um, I don't listen to it as much as I used to, and to haters, I I love the song, but I have to be in the mood to it sometimes. So, yeah, really, really good. And then we have the CD-DVD version with the lovely photo of her with her full hair. This is comparison. I will be comparing them. This is the side. The, the side might be different inside. I don't know. We will check. And then you get the same track listing as well as DVD. So you get Chan Mina first live me saying and to be queen. Um, yeah. So you get the um, some tracks from me saying and as well. You get um, fuck her best boyfriend, she's gone, me saying, and, um, my name, lady, and fuck her music video. So, yeah, since the original me saying and album didn't have a DVD version, and the DVD is, oh, I actually didn't realize the DVD is all region. I never realized that. Inside you have the red chocolate CD. And the black chocolate CD, as well as her lovely high heel with the chocolate on the ground. I always love that shot. And you get the OB, which is pretty much the same. I will confirm everything again. Sorry. Gorgeous photo of her with a red lippy there. And then you get the lyrics for Green Light, lyrics for My Name, the My Name single art. I really love that um, photo. It's going to say album. Who Are You and Chocolate Lyrics. The little photo wall. Super cute. Light it up to haters, last night and friend zone, and then the credits page, or well, DVD page and credits page. I really loved the photo shoot and of course her old logo. I really loved the photo shoot for this one. And then One Man Live at Shibuya O East. Back in 2018, feel free to scan, nothing will come up at the moment. And then, um, promotion for, uh, 
something or other. Now we will check the differences. This is brand new. I haven't opened it at all. Peel the plastic off. I'm so happy to finally have this. I kept putting off getting it for the longest time. So the OB is pretty much the same, except one says CD and DVD. Black. Side is the same. Pretty sure back was the same. Yeah. Except it doesn't have the DVD details. Inside you only have the red CD and the same shoe. And then, I remember her older albums were always quite boring <laughs> with the packaging, so I never really, um, I, like if you want her older albums, I always say just buy the CD DVD version because that's the more superior one in that case. I think all the way up until Notebook. Um, Never Grow Up was quite pretty though. The CD DVD version was like far superior. So you have track list again, lyrics. I honestly think it's going to be identical. Yeah, all the lyrics. And then your credits page is just the plane without the DVD. Um, notes. So, yeah, it's pretty basic. I honestly knew that would be the case. I'm gonna do side-by-side -side comparison. Just so you can see that it is virtually the same. And pretty much like all her old CD singles, like everything, there was no difference between the booklets and the packaging except for the cover and the credits page being having extra stuff. So yeah, it's completely the same. Anyway, now that I have time, thank you all for watching that. I'm going to talk about my... Chanmina experience from um, the Naked Meet and Greet. So it was on an app which was all in Japanese called, um, I don't even remember what it's called. I've only used it that one time. With with me? I think it was with, no it wasn't with me. Um, anyway, y'all know what it is. Um, so I downloaded it. It was a pain to get like all your info on there because it was all in Japanese. Um, I had to translate some because it was a really complex kanji. Um, like I, I can speak and read quite a bit, but I don't know a lot of the kanji or really like difficult words. Um, so I managed to like um, do all that. And it was such a weird process. Um, Honestly, like I think I won like straight away. Well, not straight away, like within a couple of days it said like um, I got an email and then it was on my account that it was there and I thought like, is this confirmed? Is this not confirmed? I'm not too sure because they worded it really weirdly. Sorry, my phone keeps moving because my setup's a bit different today. And um, yeah, it was just unusual about how it all went but anyway it worked out well i had to upload a form of identification so i had to upload my passport because um i don't have any other form of id um just to verify that it was me which is all fine um but yeah come on the day i had to verify myself with her team um they were speaking to me in japanese first and then i asked if i could have a english one um because i couldn't explain in Japanese about um, passport and stuff because I'm not used to like legal documents and like formal, really, really formal scenarios. 
so I managed to get them to talk to me in English, which was fine. Their English was pretty good, and they were very, very helpful. Um, and then they put me in the queue to wait, and I was getting really, really nervous. Um, I had my Chanmina Princess Project t-shirt on, which was really cool, and I did my makeup. Um, for those that don't know, I work in beauty. I love makeup. I love skincare. If you've seen my channel, you probably already know that. Um, but I had some nice makeup on. I used like a MAC palette. Um, MAC and Lisa, if you know, Lisa from Blackpink. Um, but yeah, it was really nice to put that on and look good. And then I was waiting in the queue for maybe, maybe 10, 15 minutes. And then I went on the call and we had a brief chat. I really loved her hair and makeup. She had like her hair and little pigtails. Um, she looked pretty casual, but still kind of made up for going out. She told me she liked my makeup, and I told her I was a makeup artist um, from New Zealand. And she said that was really cool. Um, I said I did a project when I was at makeup school on her her makeup style, and she thought that was really cool. And then before you know it, the call, like, finished. Um, yeah, it was really cute, really fun but it was like so quick so fast um like I didn't realize that the call would only be a minute long which explained why the queue didn't take that long to go through um she also spoke really good English I was a little bit nervous about um speaking to her because I know um she doesn't use English too much in everyday life um, she mainly uses Japanese. I know she writes a lot of songs in English as well. She grew up in America um, partially as well because she went to school over there. Um, but yeah, I was still like a little bit nervous because I know she doesn't um, use English nowadays too much. Um, but she was fine. Um, we sp spoke a mix of Japanese and English. I did... We, so we weren't allowed to film the experience. We got told beforehand and during that we weren't allowed to film or take photos or um, record anything because it was against terms of service um, and privacy and stuff. Um, I did, however, record like a little voice clip on my other phone, um, but sneakily. So... I will insert the clip here if you guys want to hear it, um, but I didn't want to, like, film anything. I didn't want to, like, ruin the moment. I didn't want to ruin my experience um, or, like, cut, cut anything short. Um, so, yeah. It, um, it was a good experience, and I enjoyed it. Just wish it was longer. So hopefully in the future, um, when she does future meet and greets, then... Hopefully she can make them a little bit longer, but she probably has thousands of fans that come and watch all that and join the lives and stuff, so, yeah. Sorry, I'm so bad at explaining sometimes. Anyway, I will insert the clip here. Um... Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa! Oh, it's beautiful, right? はい、ザック。すごい、可愛い。いやいやいや、ちゃんみんな可愛い。あ、いや、アイメイク、すごい。あ、ありがとう。I'm a makeup artist. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. So smart. I actually studied your makeup for my makeup project. Really? Yeah, yeah. It was so, so good. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. Love you. Bye bye. Ooh, so quick. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on my socials. Though um, I don't think I'll be updating my Instagram as much nowadays just because I'm quite busy. But I'm going to do my best to keep posting videos for you guys. Um, I do miss doing them and I do love doing them. I also have quite a few ideas of things to do um, for my videos. I'm still going to do my 
um, places to buy albums from in Japan. If you're going to Japan soon, and I haven't done the video soon, then just message me. I'm more than happy to help you. Um, things have changed a bit in that aspect, which I will talk about in that video, um, compared to when I used to go there. Um, a lot of things have changed in Japan since COVID happened, so I will be talking about that soon. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching once again, and I'll see you all next time. Jane, bye bye.